I'm Ian Knauer, welcome to the Knauer Farm. After a decade of traveling the world in search of the best food, I realized that the way that we cook and eat right here is not just down-home country cooking, it's world-class food. And it's the picture of what American food should be. Cooking this way is like returning to a, a healthier and more fulfilling lifestyle. The farm has been in the family for hundreds of years. It's nurtured us for generations. We have some really good times here and the food that we eat and cook enriches our lives. We live off this land, and I'll show you how sustainable it is. We grow, raise, and hunt everything we eat right here. In a way, it's like returning to a time before grocery stores and fast food fixes. It's fun, it's rewarding, because it is a ton of hard work. But at the end of the day, we sit down to some pretty incredible meals. I'm Ian Knauer, and this is what I do. Now that the weather's getting cooler, I start thinking about what I'm going to serve for the holidays. Now, a lot of people like turkey, but I never really liked it. Instead, I love duck. Instead of roasting the whole duck, I'm going to take the legs and the breasts off and smoke them over hardwood for a couple hours. Then I'll braise the legs until they're falling off the bone and sear the duck breast. Serve it separately, really delicious. On the side, I'm going to make a butternut squash gratin. Now, butternut squash is one of my favorite vegetables out of the garden grew all summer long and it really lives up to its name. It's buttery, nutty, and squashy. Then my favorite dish for any holiday meal is the dressing. But instead of starting with store-bought bread, I'm gonna make my own bread and I'll show you how to do that. Mix that with some onions and some celery, pop it in the oven, really nice dressing. And then finally for dessert, everybody loves cookies. So I'll make my version of a molasses spice cookie. Instead of using dried spices, I'll use some fresh ginger and a little bit of Dijon mustard. It's surprising and delicious. This is going to be an excellent, wonderful holiday. One of my favorite holiday sides is a butternut squash gratin. A butternut squash is one of those vegetables that it's great when you get it from the store, but if you have a backyard or a garden, definitely grow yourself some butternut squash. First thing I need to do is preheat my oven to 400 degrees. Now I've got some from the garden here. Lop off the ends, and then I want to peel it with a vegetable peeler. It's easiest to keep this whole while you peel it. It's just a little more to hold on to. Now that I've got them peeled, I'll cut them right where the curve starts, right where the neck ends and the body starts. Cut them in half. I'll put the bottom section over the side, that's where the seeds are. And then with my slicer here, I'm going to slice thin rounds of the top and the bottom. And then I'll just take my bottoms and I'll cut them in half. And then with the spoon, I just scoop out the seeds. Then I'll shave my bottom parts of the squash, put them over the side. And I have one onion here. This is a medium yellow onion. I'm just going to peel it and keep it whole. And I'm going to thinly slice that too. Then I've got about three quarters of a pound of white cheddar cheese. Now this comes from an Amish farm down the road. It's really delicious stuff. So now I have all my components for my gratin, and I'm just going to layer them in a baking dish. I've got about a cup and a half of heavy cream here, and I'm going to drizzle just a little bit on the bottom of the dish. And then I'm going to make a layer of squash on the bottom. And I'm going to start out with the rounds, the big pieces from the neck of the squash. That way I can get my spatula up and underneath them a little bit easier. And give that a little salt and a little pepper and some of these onions, scatter them over top. Then I'm going to make another layer just the same way. A little cream, 
some squash. Make a nice even layer. Again, a pinch of salt, a little pepper. Scatter those onions right over top. Now I'm going to add half my cheese, and this is going to make a layer of cheese right in the center that's going to melt down over the bottom of this gratin. Spread that nice and evenly. And just another drizzle of cream. So I'm down to my last layer of squash here, and for the first time, I'm going to take care to make sure that it's nice and pretty on top. I've saved some of my round pieces, my neck pieces, and I'm just going to scallop them on top here. I'll give that a final pinch of salt and a final ground of black pepper. Then I'm just going to drizzle the rest of my cream over top, and that's going to trickle down over the rest of the gratin. Finally, I'll take the last of my cheddar cheese and scatter it over the top nice and evenly. Then I'm going to put some foil over this, and I'm going to bake this in a 400 degree oven for about 40 minutes. Then I'm going to take the aluminum off, let it bake for another 15 minutes until it's just a little golden on top, and then we're ready to go.